Intro. In a time when kids today are spoiled with snowboarding lessons and fancy equipment, let's rewind to the 80s in El Paso, a place where snow days meant embracing the wild, the unconventional, and the downright hilarious. Forget the groomed slopes and professional instructors. Our initiation into the world of snowboarding involved dirt bikes, metal trash can lids, and a healthy dose of Texan spirit. The epic climb, our snowboarding adventure didn't involve ski lifts or groomed trails. No, sir, we hauled our dirt bikes up Trans Mountain Ard, conquering the ascent like modern day pioneers. Why take it easy when you can kick up dust and conquer the summit like a Wild West snow warrior? Trash can lid surfing, equipped with metal trash can lids as our trusty snowboards, we embarked on a frozen thrill ride. Picture it, sliding down icy slopes, wind in our hair and laughter echoing through the desert. Our trash can lids became our noble steeds, conquering frozen waves of glory, aiming for the cacti. Why settle for traditional snowboarding obstacles when you can target the biggest cactus in sight? Our descent strategy included precision aiming, adding an element of danger and a dash of adrenaline. Nothing says extreme like narrowly avoiding a prickly collision with nature's spikiest defenders. Needles and laughter. The aftermath was a mix of laughter and cactus needles. Picking those pesky spines from our legs became an art form, a testament to our dedication to the thrill. Painful, perhaps? Worth it, absolutely. Repeat offenders. Despite the cactus encounters and occasional dirt patches interrupting our snowy escapades, we couldn't resist the allure of trans mountain art. The cycle of climbing, sliding, and cactus dodging became a cherished tradition, one that would be passed down through the annals of El Paso's unconventional winter sports history. So there you have it, the legendary 80s snowboarding experience El Paso style. Dirt bikes, trash can lids, cacti, and laughter blended together to create memories that still bring a smile to our faces. Who needs ski resorts when you've got the thrill of the Texan snow-covered desert? It was wild, it was wacky, and it was downright unforgettable. Happy shredding El Paso style!